Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Plans. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm going to release this video, but I thought I'm going to put it up anyway. So I added some pages just for my vacation, kind of scrapbooking or journaling or however you want to use it for when I'm on vacation. And we're going to just kind of go through this together. So I picked out this one from my vacation planner. I think it's one of the princess lines, but never be afraid to trace your dreams. That's what it says. And then I have to date this side. I'm going to use this one because I have it. And actually, do I have any other Aprils? Let's see. September. I do have another April, but I feel like that's small. So we're going to... Wait, would that fit? Is that even too big? That might be actually too big. So let's actually use this April. From here. We're going to put it right there. And... We are going to kind of like just date everything and not go crazy. So I want to use blue dates again. The same blue dates that I used on my other monthly. So we're going to start with the first. And we're going to do all of that. Um, but... On this planner, we're focusing on when I'm on vacation. So we're gonna do that. So if this right here is boring to you, I'm going to skip it. We're gonna skip this part. I'm going to date everything. I'll be right back. Okay, now that everything is um, dated, I wanna mark out the day I leave and then the day we come back. which is the 20th. So we will be gone the 14th through the 20th. And I'm gonna use this one. I wanna use a ruler and I wanna mark those off. Now, I've never done this before so I could mess it up, but we gonna see. So. See if it works. So those are the days that I will be gone. I like that. And then I'm not sure. Hmm. We're gonna do like we leave and then United or Flying. And then at um I think we got to be there at 10.50. And then we arrive. And Miami. Okay. Let me look up the rest of the itinerary. I'll be right back in a sec. Okay, I am back with like the gist of my week itinerary down. So, now I kind of want, maybe I'm going to use some of these extra stickers because I have so many to kind of go around this month. So, let's see. We have this one and go under here. Um, we have... Maybe where I'm gonna put this. Let's put that there. 
because down here we're going to put if we want to put any kind of like notes and put that there we have this one we can put in here these which well, I'm not sure where I want to put them um, I don't like that so let's put these down this side I don't know if I want to take a note or something we can do that because I don't want to like them nowhere else okay now hmm, I do got these but they're white and I don't like that let's try to color them this one says escape and this one up here says ahoy Well, we're gonna have to let this dry. My plan that is, I don't think white is gonna show very well. Okay, and then we have these letters. Oh, we still got this one sticker, a drift. So, I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, I like that. Let's put that there. Okay, we're gonna cut these letters out because I, I'm not gonna end up using them. It's a lot of letters. Okay, so we do have these letters left, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And then I have two more items left. This is, this one was a part of the banner but I'm gonna use this um, for another one down here. And this one's kind of crooked. Okay, I like that. So I can put, I'm trying to let these dry some. Let's see if I can get them out. Okay, this one says Ahoy. And I feel like I'm gonna put this one kind of like right, stretching it, right? Um, well, it's gonna, let's put, it, you can see the W. So we're gonna put Ahoy there, which is not 100% dry. I'm getting blue all over the place. Okay, um, so we have that. And then let's try to get Escape out. Okay, so this is escape. I'm gonna see if escape can be put down. What is that? Okay, that's escape, which I like that, but I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit more. So this sheet is completely done. So if you don't like the color of something, you can do what I did, which that works. Now, I did put a little blue up there. And so now I'm like, oh, see I got this by me so let's see if I can do something because I kind of messed up what I wanted so basically I'm going to put this on the stopper um, and let me see if I yeah so I'm going to put this blue marker because I feel like
going to give it some blue. It's kind of what the page already wanted. <sighs> okay, let's... I kind of like that just giving me some blue ocean vibes and these were i think they're for foundation but i use them in my craft um okay i like that if our vacation starts on a sunday that would be here that would be the 14th So we're gonna work our way backwards because our vacation falls on in between two weeks. So this one's gonna be, I need some dates. Those look too small. I guess let's use these. So we're gonna work our way backward. Actually, let me see. to use color that often so I'm gonna use these so let's use these so since we need to start backwards this is going to be the 14 and then the 13th 12th yeah right 12th, the 11th, 10th, 9th, and Monday is the 8th. Should be the 8th, right? Yes. That works out great for me. The reason I'm doing this is because that is one week, but then we need to plan the second week, which is over here, and then... This Monday should be the 15th, right? Yes. So we did that correctly. So it's going to be the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. And then the 20th, we get home. And then the 21st. So we have our dates in, so we can't mess that up. Okay. Okay, let's put that up there. Let's try to put this calendar back where it belongs. So we have this. Never be afraid to trace your dreams, because we're going on a cruise. We have our monthly done with the week that we're going on the cruise. And I will say that is a win. So I did this one and then I have these set up. So we'll do these two weeks um, in another video. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.